Hi there. Welcome to my channel. As the thumbnail said, um, I am in a place where I'm starting over, kind of a new beginning. And so in the spirit of that, I thought that I would reintroduce myself and, um, you know, comparing this to my first video from a few years ago, I know this is going to be very different. Um, there's a lot of things that I haven't covered on my channel as it stands right now. And um, I thought without going into a lot of detail, I would just say hello and, and tell you who I am and what I'm doing now that things are different. So my name is Maury, and this is my channel, Traveling Solo. Um, Traveling Solo was a deliberate choice to signify my desire to explore things, but to be okay doing it on my own. Um, you know, there was a time not long ago that I didn't really think too much about traveling at all. I spent a career in IT. Um, my last full-time position, I was an executive with a company, and I was there for ten and a half years. And I poured everything that I had into that job. You know, it really was. The, when they say that you define yourself with your work, it that was exactly what it was. You know, but to be fair, I helped build the place. Um, you know, I handled everything from the IT infrastructure to site selection and facilities and uh, designing and managing the construction of the labs. And it was, it was fun for a long time. We were a startup and um, we were the little company that could. We were doing a lot with very little. So I was there for ten and a half years. And throughout my history there, um, I don't think that I even took a vacation for years one through seven. And the only reason that I even did take a vacation was I had met somebody and uh, got married, and she was all about travel. That was, that was her deal. And I had never really thought about it a whole lot. You know, it just wasn't my priority. Well, now things were different, and um, it now it mattered. So our plan was for me to eventually, you know, retire, and um, we would travel together. We had long-term plans. Um, I bought a little coffee shop up in Prescott, and um, a house up there, and we were going to split time there and and then travel in the meantime. Things ended up not working out. Um, you, It really is true when they say that sometimes you just don't know somebody very well. And so we ended up splitting up. In the meantime, things at my job had gotten uh, pretty horrible. Um, there were, let's just say, some legal issues, nothing to do with me, but because I was in charge of the, um, the IT side of the house, my job became providing documentation for the um, legal entities that were requesting information. And so that's how it went for a couple of years. And it was hard for me because um, I was watching the company that I had helped build get taken apart piece by piece because there were people whose motives um, weren't the same as mine and many other people that were there. Driven by greed and um, it got the company in a lot of trouble. And it was hard. Um, it was difficult for me to watch this thing that I took so much ownership of getting taken apart. So I got to the point where I had to make some decisions. Um, my health was suffering because of it. 
Um, not because of the cancer. I didn't know about that yet. But um, the stress, it was just, it was really getting to me. And then uh, going through the the split and the divorce, I had to decide what, what do I want to do? And I came up with a couple of things. One was that you know, I had never really considered traveling before. And then I was with somebody where that was going to be our thing. There's no reason that I can't still do that. Why can't I? And then I needed to deal with work. And um, I knew that I couldn't stay. I had, I had to go. And I spoke to two very dear friends of mine and told them my story. And they basically said the same thing. And um, Mike, I, I imagine you're watching this, so I'll just say your name. Um, I spoke to him the morning that I turned in my notice and I told him my story and he asked me a couple of questions. He said, well, I have a couple of things to ask. Um, do you need a paycheck? Like, are you relying on that paycheck next week? No, no, I'm fine. What if you didn't have a paycheck for six months? Would you be okay? I said, yeah, I've got savings and stuff. I'd, I'd be fine. He said, okay. Well, it sounds to me that the two things that I took from this are, one, you said that you're not enjoying yourself. You're not having fun. And you need to enjoy what you're doing. And the other thing that you told me was that you're waking up every morning wondering what's going to go wrong today. And you can't live that way. And if you're in a position where you can go, you should go. Well, you know, for somebody like me that's been, you know, employed my entire employable life, um, the thought and the prospect of not being employed not having a job to define myself, not having problems to fix and people to make successful around me. Um, that was very foreign to me and very scary. But that conversation and then um, my discussion with, uh, with Shelly, who I call my adopted sister, which was basically the same thing that Mike said, convinced me that um, now was the best time. I mean, there's no better time than now. So I turned in my notice and I left. And so um, I decided that I was going to take some time and travel and I went to Hawaii um, and I did the Amtrak train up the West Coast and I went to Oklahoma to see family and you know, just trying to decide what am I going to do. And I went to visit my sister up in Washington State, and we were, we would go out for walks. And I was noticing all of the RVs in her neighborhood. She was up in Seabeck, Washington. And um, I was noticing all of these RVs and stuff, and I said, you know, that's something I could do. Like, that sounds fun. I like driving. I like exploring. Um... I could do that. And so I came back to Phoenix and I did all of my research and I jumped on a bunch of different RV channels, van life channels, um, and decided I was going to do it. And I bought my first RV, the Hymer, the Hymer Active, took it out, did a couple of road trips, uh, met Amber on the West Coast, and... Um, you know, saw some really cool stuff and decided, you know what, I'm going to just, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to sell my house and um, travel full time. I'll take a room at the house that my daughter is in so that I have a place to come back to and I'm going to travel. Put my house on the market. It sold almost instantly. I mean, literally the the day that it listed, I had an offer. And um, I was getting it ready to sell. And while I was 
in the middle of moving stuff and getting things ready, um, I had noticed a change in, in my health and I went to see the doctor and long story short, the day that my house sold, I got the phone call that, um, that I had cancer. Naturally, that was uh, a big kick in the stomach, and I proceeded to panic for a while. And so I dealt with that. You know, I was fortunate that I wasn't employed now, and I had the opportunity to um, put all of my time into my treatment. And so, you know, we caught my cancer early enough that we were able to remove it physically, and I went through six months of cleanup uh, chemotherapy and I was thinking about that just today as a matter of fact that the universe has a way of pushing you into the place that you need to be and so in my case um, I met somebody that gave me the interest in traveling that I didn't really have before I never really even considered it And then I had the courage to leave my job, finally, which freed my time up. And then, as it turns out, I needed that time for my treatment. Um, it wasn't long before that. Uh, actually, when I, when I went up to see my sister, it was because my nephew had died. Um, he had uh, very aggressive cancer. And he died at 37 years old. And that was kind of the impetus for me deciding, okay, I need to do this. This is something I need to do. And then when I had my own cancer, um, and I was shown, you know, the clock, the clock is not in your favor. It's ticking. And it's up to you to not waste however much time you've got. And I was reminded rudely that you never know how much time you've got. And so here I am, and that's kind of the long way of saying that I'm starting over. Um, I made it through my own experience, and, and then COVID hit, and we've been locked down for a while. We're through that. Well, not through it, but, you know, we're, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm fully vaccinated now. And I'm going to use this opportunity to hit the reset button and start over. So here I am, and I'm sorry if this is kind of a, it's kind of a dark video, but it really has a, uh, a positive meaning, you know, it's, it's not doom and gloom, it's um, blue skies and rainbows, because I'm finally in a position where there's nothing stopping me, and uh, I'm going to take it. So, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who have been watching me up to this point and following along and supporting me um, and cheering me on, thank you very much. And for anybody new that is watching this, I'm glad you're here. I hope that whatever I end up doing, you find interesting. I'm as real as it gets. If you... Uh, leave me some comments below or you have a question or you just want to talk about something. Um, I'm probably still more connected than I should be, but I'm always happy to respond um, via email or in the comments section about anything. It doesn't even have to be RV related. I really appreciate the interactivity uh, with the YouTube audience and the people that have that have found me 
that's probably the one thing that I enjoy the most is feeling like I'm connecting with you um, in a way that I wouldn't ordinarily have been able to. And if you want to follow along on where I'm going and what I'm doing, I'm happy to take you with me. My first trip, depending on how I feel after my vaccination, uh, I'm headed up northwest toward the Seattle area. I'm going to see my brother and my sister-in-law and um, my adopted sister Shelly and her husband John. And um, at some point we'll probably do a memorial for my sister um, as well. And then I'm going to come down the west coast, kind of recreating a trip that I did uh, the same trip that I met Amber from Story Chasing on uh, down the Oregon and, and California coast um, back in, gosh, 2018. Time flies. So uh, that's pretty much it. You know, I just wanted to reintroduce myself. Um, I have grown a lot, and this is all about just going out and doing the things that I probably should have been doing a long time ago and reminding you that you should be also. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks for watching. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the space below. And until next time, have a great day.